Well, good morning. It's uh, 7.15 in the morning. On my way to a, a roof build. And I'm going to keep you guys updated as we progress here this morning. Uh, how exactly family roofing and solar does things a little bit different than everybody else. But the first thing that's different is the owner's up and Adam out of bed bright and early to go meet the crews over at the house with uh, some donuts for the homeowners, burritos for the guys. Make sure that they're all lined up and ready to go. I don't know very many roofing companies that the owner's on site for that. So there you go, starting right away. Talk to you guys soon. Here's something a little bit different. We're taking a little break here, eat some food and see all the uh, all the shingles are off. Take a break to do a, uh, a decking inspection, which sounds like that should be a thing for every roof. Make sure that the decking is okay, but a lot of times roofers just go right over the top. They don't pay any attention. They don't do an inspection of the decking itself. Make sure that the, the foundation is good. They just throw the shingles on top because at the end of the day, who's gonna know, right? We're going to uh, make sure everything's tip top shape here. If we find some broken boards, we replace it. We don't need to wait on insurance because <clears throat> we have the integrity roofing system that says we're gonna build the roof the right way regardless of what insurance does. So one more thing there, talk to you soon. Believe it or not, here's something you're not gonna see with a lot of other roofers and it's a permit box. As crazy as that sounds, I'm not messing around guys. This is, uh, this is not standard operating procedure for roofers to, to pull a permit every time. It's important. Permit box. All right, so right now we're putting on the ice and water shield, which is code in some areas, not code in other areas. Our integrity roofing system says we do it on every single roof. You can see right now he's putting on two layers of ice and water, which is not always the case in most uh, most roofing crews. So ice and water makes a big difference. You live in Colorado, you need it every time. Don't let those guys fool you without putting it on. All right, so we got the uh, starter shingles down, ice and water's down, synthetic underlayment right here behind me, not that felt junk that some of the other guys use. Now we're doing shingles. And you can hear in the background, those six taps, six nails per shingle get the maximum wind warranty. Of course, that's what we're gonna do. Talk to you soon. Last part here is the, uh, the ridge vent, which one of the biggest things that we, we really focus on getting right, because if we don't get the ventilation right, the shingle warranty is voided, not up to code, the house gets hot. And uh, this is really, really where uh, our company shines because our competition is just not looking at it. But, uh, this this roof was underventilated, of course, almost all of them are. Uh, so we boarded up those ugly static vents and put in this beautiful ridge here. And uh, of course, hip and ridge shingles on top. That's a roof, one day. Beautiful brand new class four roof.